Yeah, so it's, um, hi everyone, again, <laughs> it's my daughter's 15th birthday, my eldest daughter of four daughters, and um, yeah, so we are going on a girl's uh, nails um, thing, uh, we're going to have nails done and pedicure, and we are having lunch out, and then we're going to come back for a... Um, sort of family party. Oh, Martha might be meeting Megan in May. Uh, Megan, are you going to America? Oh my God. That's so amazing. I want to come. I want to. <laughs> right, I, I might be going to Spain. Oh, it's my birthday in May too. Maybe I can get away for my birthday. Depends on <laughs> depends on the baby baby. Ooh, I don't know if I can leave her. I don't know if anyone <laughs> would want me to leave her. Oh, if the timing doesn't work out, I'd be so jealous, but never mind. Anyway, so today, because of this, I've kind of like wanted to share that the affirmation today is that it's okay to pause, you know? It, today, for me, it's like a busy, very busy day. You know, we've got a busy sort of, Monday vibe happening. Um, I tried to catch up on a Sunday because our weekend here is Friday and Saturday. So on a Sunday, I tried to sort of do a bit of catch up. And um, when I do my catch up, usually Mondays aren't terrible, you know, like not as if you were coming in on a normal Monday, which I remember back in back in the olden days, you know, when I had a proper job and or not a proper job, but you know, like a nine to five job. And um, yeah, so today I'm absolutely giving myself permission to take a little bit of time off um, out with my daughter, my 15 year old daughter now, oh, time goes by so fast. And um, we're gonna go and do nails and have lunch and just have a really nice day. And then I might come back to work the next day. That's my dog in the background. Um, so yeah, so the, the affirmation today and the message today is it is okay to pause, it's okay to take a break. You know, anything that you're working on, anything that you're trying to achieve, it's so important that you do take breaks in order to recoup and refresh and, and feel good again. But also you need to know that everything that you're doing, it's, it's an ongoing process and, and in, in a sense, it's a never ending process. You know, although you you obviously get to a point where you've achieved a goal, there's just another goal waiting on the other side. <laughs> you know, there's just, as you evolve, as you move forward, the things you want change, the things you um, want in your life change. As you progress and get older, you know, the things around you change. So therefore you, you end up changing, your goals change and you add more things on and you achieve something and you're on to the next thing. So it's actually okay to pause. So that was my affirmation today. Take a pause. I can take a pause or it's okay to pause. For me, it sounds more natural to say it's okay to pause. It's okay. You know, like give yourself a break. So that's what um, the message is all about today. So on a tarot day, we are just going to pull some cards. And I usually say to people um, in the room or wherever you are, um, whether you're watching this replay, and if you are watching the replay, you know, the message has come through at the right time for you. Pick one that you're drawn to, the number one, two, or three, um, whatever that feels right to you. And then all we do is we pull a card out for each one, and then we kind of read the card and try to give you um, a message or some form of guidance or, a, you know, I guess a tip in a way as to um, what's going on or the things that need to occur. Oh, it's two for Martha. So again, whatever you go, whatever, whatever one you're drawn to, just think about that. And if there's any particular question in your mind as well, you can focus on that and think about that too. Oh God. One second. <laughs> okay, so a bunch of cards came out here, but there is one that came out and changed Side. So we've got the Eight of Pentacles is our number one. And that came out with a lot of different messages. Mm. 
somebody's feeling stuck somebody's working on it's it's something to do with working on something and feeling very stuck the next one Okay, the next one is the Ace of Cups in the Fall. This is a nice one. Oh, and then we have the final one, which is our High Priestess, and that's telling a story. I'm going to try and condense this, otherwise we'll be here all day. Okay. <laughs> okay, so if you pulled number one, there's something that you've been working on, which, um, or if you, if you were drawn to number one, and you might be drawn to one or more, so it might be more than one or all three it depends but if you pick number one there's something you're working on but there's something that you feel really stuck and you feel like you've been putting a lot of energy and a lot of attention into this and it's definitely something online so we've got the world that kind of fell out and that stuck energy with the hangman um but something is going to happen and something is going to occur so the message for you is just keep going keep moving forward keep throwing things out there because eventually something will come back okay it's like it i i feel like this thing like a boomerang you know like you keep throwing these things out there like maybe i'll catch something there maybe maybe i'll get a break there maybe that will come in and then you're feeling like exhausted from it but now the the message to you is saying that keep doing it keep throwing things out there and something is about to come back to you something is about to um, work the second one number two we have the ace of cups in the fall so we definitely have maybe a possible travel element in there but your cup is overflowing there's there's a change in direction occurring for you and you are going to start feeling a lot lighter about things there's a new beginning happening there's something new coming into your life and this new thing that's coming into your life it's literally gonna overfill you with love and joy and happiness and everything's going to be pretty rosy so look for that new beginning and look for that new start and if it feels right to you then go along with it and then the third one we had the high priestess come out but we had also another bunch of cards come out with this one too so with this i feel like you are feeling a little bit isolated if, if there's somebody here with three there's some sort of isolation or you're holding something back um or keeping something inside and it's kind of like on the surface you're showing everyone everything's fine um it's all rosy you know yeah yeah you know like when people ask you you know like you okay yeah i'm fine yeah i'm fine but you're not fine you, there's something going on with you you're feeling like okay so you know like we've got these cards and it's a female energy in here and all these cards like the head is down like it's it's this feeling of depletion depleted energy and also maybe a feeling of being a little bit trapped um don't know what to do don't know where to go but in the surface everything's fine so the message to you is you've got to talk to somebody about this and you have to tell that person how you're feeling. Somebody is in your life um, who cares about you, who you need to be more honest with. Um, and, and you just generally need to be more honest with people about how you're feeling because that's the only way you're going to come unstuck and move out of that, that kind of feeling of, you know, like your head is down, but you're putting on this smile, you know, for everybody. Okay, so that was uh, the messages that came out for today. Um, I hope you found those helpful. Um, oh, Nikki was a three. That was interesting. <laughs> I just saw that now. Okay, well, I hope you found that helpful, guys. So now we're going to do our daily accountability. Remember, this is a five-minute practice. It's a non-negotiable daily five-minute practice that everyone should be doing. So get your journal, get your books, get ready to start doing this practice. Like I say, it's five minutes, and at the end, we'll close off this session. So thank you so much for being here today, and have a very good accountability session. And we're going to go directly into that now. First, we're going to do our gratitude. Think about the day before. Think about everything that you feel grateful for from the day before and write it down. You can find at least one thing. Let's begin.
Next, we're gonna read our goal. This should be written down somewhere. Read it through right now in the next minute. Now we're gonna spend one minute closing our eyes and doing a visualization. Visualize yourself having achieved the goal or the things around you that show you've achieved the goal. Let's begin. Well done. And finally, we have our most important task for the day. Write down a task that you want to accomplish today that's going to help you take one step further to your goal. Think about it. Let's begin. Well done you for completing your daily accountability. I am super proud of you. You have done so well. And don't forget, you can join me live online inside virtual co-working space every day where I create these videos live. Please do like this video if you do like it because I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a comment down below with the affirmation of the day. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any updates. Thank you so much and have a fantastic day.